So the latest development is that a judge has ordered that some documents that were sealed during the trial be unsealed. What kind of information is in those documents? <clears throat> I don't want to get too much into detail. <laughs> we could really get lost here. We could. Uh, but essentially, this case has never really been about embarrassment, uh, about a sexual indiscretion. Uh, it's never really been about the, what was talked about at, in trial. <laughs> It's actually always been about some racist language that was on another tape, a tape that we didn't have, um, that showed uh, Hulk Hogan be an admitted racist and be talking about a black man who was dating his daughter that he didn't like, but at least he was rich. So he was trying to prevent that from, com from coming out, and this was a distraction? Yeah, he was try I think he was trying to scare people off, trying to scare us mm -hmm. off, any subsequent stories, and trying to scare generally the media off. Uh, covering what was ultimately a story that uh, ended up costing him his WWE career. So you can understand why he was so, of course. He was so concerned. Yes. Uh, but the fact is that that didn't come out at trial at all um, because the judge kept those documents under seal. But do you think this will change, this will help your appeal? This will help your argument? Do you think that this um, gives you a better chance of standing to win the appeal? I mean, you're, you're asking to have this, the damages be thrown out or dramatically reduced? I think, I think actually the, the law is going to trump uh, any dispute about facts here and, and motives. Uh, yeah, this was clearly a newsworthy story. You might not like it, you might not like stories about sex tapes, um, but a federal judge and the appeals court itself have ruled on several occasions that the story was newsworthy. So, so we expect that to be decisive, uh, but it just shows, it, it explains a little bit why the verdict was from the jury was so enormous, $140 million. Pretty staggering. <clears throat> for um, a supposed upset, something that he actually wasn't really upset about. What happens if you do lose? Your lawyer has said that this could be ruinous for the company. You know, many things could happen in life. Um, <laughs> That's a good way to put it. <laughs> I, 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 I don't think that we will lose on appeal. I, th I think the, the law is relatively clear here. The facts are relatively clear here. Yeah, it's relatively clear that the plaintiff's case, that Hulk Hogan's case was, you know, it was about as fabricated as, a, as a, one of the professional wrestling bouts that he is he's more known for. So you, sound, you sound pretty confident, but the media has been reporting that this will likely bankrupt the company. Is that true? I mean, $140 million, if we had to pay $140 million, um, then I think there are very few media companies that could, uh, could afford that. Um, but the, yeah, the record with these kind of cases is that uh, you know, if, they, if they do go to jury, um, you'll get a verdict, and often that verdict will be either radically reduced or eliminated uh, in, at the appeals court level.